Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. Vacation. It was summer. And summer was the... Welcome back, everybody, to this Netflix-style playthrough of The Novelist, where I'm trying to make all the worst decisions and posting everything all at once for you guys to peruse at your own leisure. So far... We've got Linda happy one night, Tommy happy one night, Dan happy one night. It's kind of what we've done. Uh, their marriage is not going well at all anymore, though, so I'm kind of curious to see where this all goes. Blast off at Booster Bay. Come enjoy all the excitement of Booster Bay this weekend. We have a very special discount for all the young astronauts out there. So this is like a space show. This, this fridge needs some work. It's loud. So let's see here. Home to a stunning display of natural beauty, Ochako National Forest is a perfect destination for hunters, wilderness enthusiasts, and weekend campers alike. Okay. So, that's one of the national forests that Linda wants to go to. What's Tommy want? He wants to go to Booster Bay, I'm assuming. Which is going to take them away from the whole weekend of work. So he's getting very sad again. Be careful, honey. He's going to blow himself up with that. No dis... I didn't read what that said quick enough, but that's okay. I feel like you're, like, right next to me. Oh, there you are. I'm going out for a hike. Okay, be safe. Where's the other one here? Is it in here? Yep. Can't get close enough. The well, 7 o'clock idea was dead before it even got started. Dan was pretty adamant, adamant that he just can't make the time with his writing schedule. And if we pushed it any later, Tommy would have been wiped out. I guess we'll just keep trying, keep playing it by ear each night. That makes it so hard to count on any of the quality time. Maybe it's a small thing, but I'm worried it will chip away at us over time. I think it already has chipped away at you guys. So now I gotta go find Dan. You're not in here. Let's see if there's any... Anything special in here? Oh, a rocket ship. Oh, please hold. Okay, I'm back. So, basically, Tommy wants to ride in a rocket ship. So I can read Tommy's thoughts already and see what he wants to do. But before we do that, let's go get the other clues. Oh, post-its all over the wall. Just that you'd never make it. Said your joke. Dangerous is unworthy of being called an idea at all. One page at a time. Okay, let's read all these stupid clues. Okay. So, I don't know who that was, if it was Dan's Penny. or what. Thanks so much for your letter. It made my day. Tramer's way came out a while ago now, so I don't get letters like this too often. Writing can be pretty Writing isolating profession at times, which makes it a big boost to hear that someone out there is getting something from my work. Your support means the world to me. To answer your question, I am indeed in the midst of writing a new book. I don't have a title or a release date yet, but I'm plugging away on it slowly but surely. I plan to finish it by the end of the summer, and I truly hope you enjoy it when it comes out. Thanks for your kind words, Dan Kaplan. So, six of eight is this. Should not fear death as much as rather inadequate life. Seven of eight. I haven't read his memories yet, though. So I think I can... Oh, right there. Where are we at here? And what's this, Linda's? I've got to stay on the book. This is my chance to do something people remember. Something, something that matters. matters. If this one isn't good enough, there might not even be a next one. Certainly not one without all sorts of publishing strings attached. This is why we saved up enough to take the summer off. I'm out of excuses. Of course, a long weekend would be fun, but there's also the problem. How do you stay hungry when you've gotten used to a weekend getaways? How do you recapture that feeling of being a broke college kid chasing a dream? How do you get back out of that limb again, scared it's going to break, but inching out anyway? Listen to me. Wound up so tight. Maybe taking one night off might help me after all. So he kind of wants a night off, which is weird. Well, I guess it's not weird, because since I had him close the door, 
He's probably had a lot of nights off. What is she? Dinner didn't go how I wanted it at all. What's happening to us? Okay. I already went through her memories. What was this? Anne, what's latest with you? I hope you're doing better than I am. I'm going a little stir crazy. Dan loves it here. He's just running all day long so he could be anywhere. I could use a change of scenery. I've walked every trail in the woods and even started a few on my own. It's great getting away from the city, but I wouldn't exactly call that roughing it. Tommy's certainly having a good time exploring the woods. Sometimes we go together, and if I'm in the studio, he knows he can play outside where I can see him. Do you remember when we had kids trying to jump the creek? Tommy's at that stage. Oops, got a little carried away there. Probably didn't want to hear that. Blah, blah, blah. So now I can... So Dan... I haven't gone through your memories yet, but you want to go camping... You want... I didn't read Tommy's memory yet either, but I'm sure he wants to go to that place. You know, it could always be better. I was right. Um... He must be upstairs. You're not in your study, though. You must be in the bedroom. In the corner on the floor. The sound of those doors closing is my favorite thing to hear these days. <laughs> it's almost Pavlovian how that doorknob clicking shut puts me into a writing space. I'm not crazy enough to think that there's anything mystical going on, but there's something to be said for developing a habit, knowing I'll get some privacy, and quiet is such a relief. Boundaries are a beautiful thing. Okay, can I screw up your boundaries at all? And have I figured out... Grab some firewood, build a mom fire, and camp on the beach is what he wants to do. Tommy wants to go to that vacation right rocket makes it free at booster bay so booster bay would give tommy what he wants and neglect the two of them yet again which i've done once before and i think that's the way to go with this one so discover dan and linda is dan and linda are going to be disappointed let's do it let's disappoint the crap out of them so instead of focusing on one character, what I'm doing is I'm kind of focusing on bringing them all down, piece by piece. And I think it's working pretty well. Why is she Wouldn't have been a real summer vacation without Tommy getting to do something special. As they grabbed Tommy's toy rocket and drove to Booster Bay for a weekend of candy, ice cream, and roller coasters, Tommy's excitement surprised even his parents. Wore himself out going on every ride as many times as he could, and he slept in the car all the way back. So this time we stayed the whole time as well. Hey, what? Then it was disappointing that they didn't go camping in a Chaco, so she went on a day hiking trip by herself to get out of the house and try to get some use for her new pack. She was only an hour into a hike when she twisted her ankle in a tree root and had to limp back in pain. So that happened last time as well. But we also went on the beach, which we didn't do this time. Dan tried to work by jotting ideas in his notebook during the weekend's few spare moments, but it was no use. The breaking routine disrupted his rhythm, and on the drive home, he got so lost in thought trying to remember where he'd left off that he drifted off the road and almost crashed the car. Wow, that was the end of chapter four. Chapter five, the show. Linda got a letter in the mail.